nerves are going to be going, hearts pounding. Oh, absolutely. Everyone's looking at each other side to side, and they're all trying to get that, that first stroke in. And it's a great really, start by really the Hungarians there. Looks like Hungary got out of the box first. Well, I was reading their Twitter feeds and their, their blogs over the winter, and they're saying they're looking to put forward new combinations. Uh, Obviously, with uh, Kovac and uh, Dunwich uh, not available, pregnancy and injury, so we'll, uh, we'll have to see how these two girls work. Germans are gone out hard there as well, Matt. It's a very close field from lanes three through two to six, seven. Well, obviously, the Germans is going to be interesting to see how they uh, how they manage to work together. They've won all sorts of things individual. Connie's won 19 World Championships medals, and uh, Tina's got a Olympic gold behind us. So it's interesting to see how they can gain. But as you mentioned uh, a couple of minutes ago, the Swedes looking good as well. Yeah, Karen Johansson and uh, Clara, Clara Anderson as well. 27, 23 years old. First split, we do have the Swedish boat in the lead. They're taking it out. It's a very different mix of combinations this year, but I think it looks quite exciting. They've all had a good good winter's training. So we have four boats in a line. Hungarians just edging up there in front at the moment in lane three. Looking nice and strong, nice and comfortable. Zabo, multiple Olympic gold medals, and uh, Neta Vaj, she's an extraordinary junior and very, very fast in the 200 metres. It's interesting to see how they come. But at the moment, they're looking like the Polish seem to be hanging on to second on the far side. 30 metres to go. It looks like the Hungarians are going to just take it from Poland. I think maybe the Germans might get third, is it? Yeah. Oh, nice close finish. Looks like Hungary just had a nice, strong race start to finish. I'm sure they'll be happy with that. Hand raised, smiles all around. Job done. <laughs> and obviously, different. Each team is in different uh, processes of their of their training regime. I guess uh, the, the the biggest championships this year are going to be for most people going to be the worlds in uh, Moscow. Yeah, Moscow. Oh, well, everyone's got their own different, like, Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere, like, the likes of Tatiel, they're coming out of summer. Everyone else is just coming out of winter into spring and have been away on sort of warm weather training camps. Okay, here we see Zabo and Vad. Really, as you said, they seem to control the race. Yeah, they look really comfortable, really strong start to finish. Did a bit of training with uh, Gabby Zabo over the winter, and I think she's pretty excited going into this season. Nice and fit. Certainly look happy there. And yourself, your Pete, you're on form. You